Hey internet, I know, I'm back so soon, we're all surprised. I made some downer videos the past couple videos that I posted. And I was thinking about it and I just think it'll be good for my brain and just like generally good to make something that is happier. One of my longest running series on this channel was my obsessions of the month. It was a monthly video that I did where I just shared what I was really into in the past month. I did it for two years and then the 2016 election happened. And not even a joke, it just felt like I couldn't continue it after that. It felt weird to sit down and be like, hey, all of these things are really horrible, but I'm gonna tell you about the things that are great right now. But it feels like time to resurrect that series, maybe as a one-time thing, maybe as a reoccurring thing. Who knows? But today, I'm gonna tell you what I've been obsessed with lately. So first of all, as you guys saw in the last video, I've been doing a lot of digital drawing. Several months ago, I got this iPad. I think it's the 9.7 inch and it has the Apple Pencil with it. I have been using it to do digital art and art isn't a thing that I've spent a lot of time trying to get better at through the years. I've always doodled and drawn weird stuff but doing digital art has been a lot of fun. Specifically, as I mentioned in the last video in October, I was working on like developing my skills and then even into this month, I've been working hard on like watching a lot of videos and spending a lot of time drawing to just kind of try to build up my skills, try to become a better artist. I've been obsessed with not only digital drawing, but also the iPad and specifically the app Procreate. I'm not a person that likes to buy apps and Procreate is a one-time cost of $10, but everyone that I know that draws on the iPad uses it. It just ended up being like perfect. It has all of the things that I need and I just really like using it. It's very intuitive. So if you have a little bit of money and you have an iPad and you have a pencil and you're looking for an app to use, Procreate. I'm probably not the first person to tell you this if you have all those things and you're wanting to draw, but yeah. I like Procreate a lot. As we're already talking about art, I've also started watching some art YouTubers. Art YouTube was not a thing that I knew existed until a couple of months ago, and I've been diving in to try to see like what different people are doing. And so you can watch people draw on Procreate in a tutorial, you can watch people do physical art. In particular, there's one girl, I think it's Chloe Rose Art. I just really like her videos. She's quirky and fun. She mostly does physical art, which <laughs> isn't really super educational for me, but I've been really enjoying watching her videos. Not art related, but YouTube related. I've been watching this little YouTuber called Jenna Marbles. <laughs> Jenna's been around for so long and she's just been so consistently funny. Like I think it is underrated how much of a gem her channel still is and the stuff that she's making now is just it's still it's still so funny and it makes me laugh all of the time there are two videos of hers that i will just laugh until i cry every time i watch them and they're the face swap video and the green screen video everyone who's watching this has probably already seen a video of hers at some point so i'm not convincing anyone moving on to music a really long time ago my oldest brother suggested that i listen to Hades Town the musical and at that point it was just anais mitchell who had produced a concept album and there were other people on it justin vernon's on it and they were singing all these songs for like this musical about the myth of orpheus and eurydice and when my brother suggested it i listened to why we build the wall which is an excellent song and it's really cool but i never listened to the rest of the musical so finally a couple months ago i listened all the way through and i just think it's so cool like it's just really neat music wait for me is a song that's like half spoken half sung and it's like so powerful and like mournful and very good and if you know me i like really mournful music hades town i think is supposed to be coming to broadway now there is a live cast recording of all of the music that is different than anais mitchell's concept album so i would recommend listening to the cast album and finally the thing that actually made me really want to make this video is that I just finished listening to the balance arc of the Adventure Zone podcast. The Adventure Zone is a podcast where the McElroy brothers, so there's three brothers, Justin, Travis, and Griffin, and their father, Clint, they all sit down and they play D&D. &D. If you're not familiar with the McElroys, they are a podcasting family. They had a TV show for a little while, but for the most part, they do podcasts, and it started with 
a podcast between the three brothers called My Brother, My Brother, and Me. But the podcast that I'm talking about, The Adventure Zone, is specifically D&D. And so the youngest brother, Griffin, DMs. He basically creates the story that the other two brothers and their father play through as these three different characters, Merle, Magnus, and Taco. It was a whole experience going through it because I started it a long time ago and I only listened to a couple episodes and then I got back into it and I binged it. Like... I was just listening to it all of the time. And I had a lot of different experiences with it. And at first, it was a podcast that I was listening to where people were playing a game. And then about halfway through, it turned into a story. And I think Griffin did a really good job of just creating this really cool concept and weaving it through the choices that the other players were making. And it ended up being kind of this beautiful thing that made me very emotional and I cried at certain points. I'm done now with that arc. I'm done with that story. They've, they're have they not gonna do any more of it and those characters are done being played, basically. There's definitely a really intense sadness around that in the same way there would be like if you were reading a long book series and you finished it. It's interesting because I'm working at the DFTBA warehouse right now and we sell the McElroy merch so I I'm constantly packing things that have references to the podcast and stuff and it's really interesting this experience now and I've been trying to put it into words but it was like I listened to the podcast for so long and I felt so many emotions around it basically was listening whenever I wasn't doing anything else and so it got the sense of like super familiarity like listening to the podcast kind of felt a little bit like home in a weird way because lots of things in my life were changing. I was doing lots of different things, but that was like the constant for several weeks. I know that people get this experience all the time with content they consume. It had such a profound effect on me, and I think it is because of the situation that my life was in while I was watching it, that my life is in, or whatever. If you were at all into D&D, and laughing. <laughs> I highly recommend listening to it. It's so funny and the brothers are just so quick and witty and it's just super delightful to listen to this family kind of sit down and do this thing together. It makes me really want to do a thing like that with my brothers. I think that's all of the obsessions that I'm gonna talk about today. This is the first video filmed in my new room. It's green. It's slowly getting dark which is why the lighting has probably changed. I'm looking at it now and uh, my face is, is in shadow. I kind of need to think of this quick, but I want to figure out something to do for December. I'd like to make some more videos. I want to get back into this thing because it was so fun for so long and I don't even know what YouTube is anymore. <laughs> so we'll see. Let's go with the old classic. What have you guys been obsessed with lately? What are the things that you've been listening to and watching and doing and seeing and eating and whatever else? What has made you happy? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later.